A credit card authorization is very similar to a sale with one important difference. When you run a sale, that will authorize the customer's credit card and schedule that money to be funded to your account at the time of your next settlement. An authorization, on the other hand, will authorize the customer's credit card right away. However, funds will not move and the transaction will not settle until you manually capture it. So let's begin an auth by going to credit cards and then authorize. And if you run a sale, this page is going to look very similar. It has all the same fields as the sale page and for all intents and purposes is the same information. You still need to enter a customer's credit card, their order information, billing, shipping, whatever you need for their transaction. For this one, I'm going to do a very simple transaction. Okay, so we have a $30 transaction ready to go. I've got the customer's card entered here, and I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and hit authorize. Now that's authorized the transaction for the full amount. So $30 has been approved by the customer's card issuer, and I have a transaction ID. This transaction ID is going to be important for us later on. I'm going to copy that right here. When I'm ready to capture this transaction, I'll go to credit cards and capture. And then if I know the transaction ID, I can paste it in here and it will autofill the amount for the total that I authorized. Now I can capture this for the full amount or I can capture for a partial. Any amount equal to or less than the original authorization will be accepted here. You just can't go over. Now, if you don't know the transaction ID for what you're looking for, you can click the magnifying glass here and this takes you to the reports page. We can go down to the bottom and just do a search for this current month. And you can see my card authorization is right here. It's marked as pending capture because I haven't captured it yet, which means it will not be funded yet. I can just tap the transaction ID. And here's all the information about the transaction. I have that same transaction ID that I copied earlier and the customer's information. And up here, I have a few options. I can capture, void, or run a charge again, authorize, or sale. In this case, we're doing a capture, so I'm going to hit capture. It pre-fills the transaction ID on the same page and the amount, and I just hit capture, and it's been approved. So this will now settle out. And of course, like any other transaction on the authorization or the capture, you can print a receipt or email, whichever you'd like.